Today we're going to focus on the one leg squat as a pistol. A lot of people are having trouble with this due to the weakness in the squatting leg, the weakness in the straight leg, or the lack of flexibility in either leg. We're going to work on that now. Before you can do the one leg squat, obviously you have to be able to do squat with two legs. However, when you're standing on one leg, your body shifts over the center of support. For this reason, the best way to train a two leg squat would be with feet together, like so. It's a good idea to keep your arms in front because that shifts your balance a little bit back allowing for you to stay on one leg. We're talking about a flat foot one leg squat. Okay? Very slowly down, very slowly up. Same thing on the other side. A few issues. Some people do not have the strength to go up and down on one leg. Many ways to train for that. One of them is to find out how low you can go and work on that range of movement. So for instance, I find that I can go down to here. If I go any lower, I cannot come back up. Okay? So what I would do is I would come down to here. That's a point where I can't push myself back up. Lift one leg, hold it for a while, place it back down. And play around like that with both legs. Then, maybe after a week or two weeks or so, I'll be able to come down lower, but I'm not going to be able to come back up from here. So I'll use my other leg to come up. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that distance that I can come down to but not come back up. And again, I'm going to lift the legs, lift the strength of one leg, and do that. Of course, you can do the same thing with straight leg. Come down to here, extend one leg, back, other leg, back. And after a while, you'll be able to come down really low. And come up. Okay? And that will build up the strength to come down and come up. That takes care of the strength issue in the leg that's actually doing the squat. Another issue is this leg. Two ways to take care of it. If you feel like you're coming down and touching the floor with a straight leg, number one, you do not have to extend that leg. does not have to be straight, can be bent. But keeping your arms in front and keeping your leg in front allows your body to shift the center of balance a little bit back, this way sitting back more comfortably. The second way to take care of the straight leg is to use a strap to hold it up. I'm going to put the strap around my foot Hold it pretty low, because my arms and my leg will have to travel up, so I have to start low. I'm going to squat down, come back up. This is actually easier, because I do not have to focus on holding this leg up. I'm holding it up with my hands rather than its own strength. Okay, so two ways to solve it. One way is to squat down with the leg bent, and the other one is to hold with the strap. Okay. Again, that also solves the issue of flexibility because some people don't have enough flexibility in this leg to actually bring it up. If you do have the flexibility and possibly not the strength, or you have the flexibility and you would like to play around, you can actually hold this leg and squat down with it and come back up. Same thing on the other side. The last possible issue here is the balance. Of course you have to be able to balance on one leg. 
okay, before you can do anything. I recommend moving the other leg in different directions just to know that you can balance on this leg. Now, if the strength is not your problem, flexibility is not your problem, but balance is, you can simply hold on to the wall just for balance. You can slide your hand down the wall and back up. Just slightly touching the wall will give you enough balance to stay up. After a while, you're not going to need the wall anymore. 